Hi there, folks. This is Levi Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B plus RV specialists. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com. That's truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. We do not put any pricing on YouTube. However, all of our prices are listed on our website. So if you have any price inquiries, please call us or jump over to our website. I will put a direct link to this particular RV in the description below. We are a full service dealer. We do offer warranty as well as financing. If you have any questions on those, please call my brother Luke in our office at 419-899-2020. All right, folks, we're inside of this road trek. Gonna give you the inside video tour of this one. As always, we're starting up front. We'll make our way towards the rear. Then we'll come back towards the front. We'll try to get you a couple different angles so you can get a feel of the space inside of this RV as well as the overall condition. This unit will sleep up to two people in the rear bed. We have cloth front seats, oak cabinetry all the way throughout. We are a small family owned and operated dealership. Uh, you will not get any high pressure sales here. Uh, we try to be very laid back, very friendly people. We specialize in these smaller uh, class B, B plus, short C motorhomes. Uh, it's kind of our specialty. We are also getting into the smaller travel trailer market as well. Uh, we're just starting to get into that. We've got a nice big, uh, this is bigger than your 190s and your 170s. It's got a bigger fridge freezer. Um, I'll show you on the way back through the inside of it as the door swings towards me. Microwave up top. Single basin kitchen sink. Two burner cooktop. Stainless steel backsplash around the cooktop there. Roll the road tracks come with the window style air conditioner that sits up top there. Uh, fuse panel, circuit breaker panel is down there. Uh, this floor plan, you can sleep in this as two twin beds. Each one of you can lay on your respective side. Uh, if you don't like each other, you can sleep sleep apart if you want. Uh, if you'd like to make one big bed, uh, the table, you can see this is hinged here. This will actually flip over, uh, fill this space, and then you would use the table, which is located underneath the cushion there. You would then fill the t use the table to fill this space here towards the rear. Slide the bottom cushions in and then bring the back cushions down uh, to make one large bed in this rear space here. Gives you some sleeping versatility. Big emergency exit window in the rear. All the cushions in the upholstery seem to be in pretty good condition in this one. Uh, these back seat bottoms were actually in seat covers. I'll show you the other one here in a second. They was kind of scrunched up on the ends. And left a little bit of wrinkles in the cushions as of right now. Uh, thermostat for your propane furnace. My guys removed the original TV and installed a flat screen. This is a 15 and a half inch with a built-in DVD player. You can still swivel it uh, to, to face uh, either side here in the back if you would like. Again, as I said, these seat bottoms were actually in seat covers, zippered up seat covers. Um, not sure why, if they like the look or just the protection, uh, but they had to kind of scrunch it. I just took the seat covers off a couple hours ago. The fabric is still a little wrinkled there in the end. I uh, just want to make you aware of that, that it should, uh, after it has some time to stretch out and air out, it should uh, return to normal, normal shape there. A 
As with all the road treks, it comes with the wet bath. You're going to pull the shower curtain out of the shower around the track. You can use the fantastic fan to exhaust the steam if you would like. This panel here of the door will fold around and close this gap to give you your privacy towards the front. Uh, the kitchen has curtains that you can close to give you your privacy there. But you essentially, you will stand in the aisle while you take your shower. Got your shower head as well as your valve there. And your stool. But you are going to pull the shower curtain around you. You're going to stand right here. This is all a one piece fiberglass drain pan. Uh, it's all sloped to this drain here. Everything is going to go down that drain there. You will have to, the downfall with these road trek style showers is that you're going to have to keep a towel or use your towel when you get done to dry up the floor uh, if you don't want to get your socks and things wet. Got a nice big, uh, you can either use this pantry, uh, wardrobe space, however you'd like, uh, but a lot of shelves in here. Adjustable shelves with some drawers down bottom. Then we've, uh, we've got some staining on the shelves there. Uh, we've got a control center up here, hot water heater switch, uh, porch light, your levels gauges, your battery disconnect switch, your remote start for your Onan 2800 generator, which has 342 hours on it. Uh, overall, pretty decent coach. Uh, our guys have gone through it fully inspected. Comes with our 30-day limited warranty. Uh, went to a thorough cleaning process. All the cushions, carpet, fabrics, everything is steam cleaned. All the woodworking, cabinets, drawers, everything else is wiped out. And so overall, pretty decent unit. It's a 2002. Uh, my overall opinion, taking into consideration the age of the miles, what should be considered normal wear and tear. Um, I'd give this one a rating of anywhere from seven and a half to maybe up to an eight and a half, but probably in that seven and a half to eight range. And uh, last but not least, my joke, um, how many days of the month, or how many months in the year, how many months have 28 days in them? All of the months have at least 28 days. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, Give us a call, Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976. And now I'm going to give you a quick little rundown of the outside of this unit. It is 20 and a half feet from bumper to bumper. It has four brand new tires. It has an 11 foot awning. It does sit on the Chevy 3500 chassis and is powered by the 8.1 liter V8 engine. On the back passenger corner here, we have access to a large pass-through storage compartment. Uh, this does pass through all the way to the driver's side. Uh, houses our spare tire. Coming around to the rear of the coach. On the very bottom, we have the tow package. And then also the propane fill, which is located behind this door that will flip down. And then coming around to the driver's side. Uh, again, the large pass-through storage compartment. Uh, we've got your support arm for your awning housed back there, your shore power cord, then also your outdoor shower and your city water connection, your gasoline tank, vent and access to your hot water heater, vent for your refrigerator, vent for your propane furnace, a pretty good-sized storage compartment here, and last but not least, the dumps for your black and gray water tanks.